So it's important to do everything we can to protect our groundwater resources, but in certain cases, naturally occurring elements are present that impair the quality of our water. In those cases, there are a lot of treatment options that we can consider. So Brian, what is the first thing someone needs to know before trying to make a decision about a treatment system? Generally, you need to know the water chemistry. And so a good water analysis is your first step in order to understand what you're going to be treating for, if treatment is required at all. So there's two main categories of treatment options. A point of entry system treats the water for the entire house, whereas a point of use system treats water for only one tap. Why would someone choose to do one versus the other? Typically, point of entry would be aesthetic issues, hardness, iron, hydrogen sulfide, and then we, we prefer to treat bacteria at point of entry also. Point of use are typically health considerations, nitrates, arsenic, different types of contaminants that uh, affect your body, and uh, then you're, you're keeping your costs down by only treating the water you're consuming. What are some examples of point of use treatment systems? Reverse osmosis is the most common. Carbon filters, UV, ultraviolet sterilization. So with an RO system, we first filter the uh, sediment, the sand, the dirt, and the rust with a five micron filter. And uh, we also carbon filter it, taking out any chlorine, first line of defense for some of the organics. And uh, more or less, this first filter is protecting our RO membrane. The membrane is the workhorse. We're removing up to 99% of the dissolved solids and a lot of the contaminants such as nitrates um, that are technically dissolved. We then have a polish filter, carbon filter, that uh, will take out any residual tastes, any um, organics that have made it through the membrane. And then we go out to our two and a half gallon storage tank here that uh, will allow you to draw water at any time. And uh, as we draw water from the storage tank, we go through a polish filter that takes any tank taste out, stale taste, um, gives it just a fresh polished taste uh, at your faucet. So I know that carbon filters are attractive for people on municipal systems to take out some of the residual chlorine taste. What about for a private well owner? For a private well owner, the carbon filters are beneficial for removing VOCs, volatile organic chemicals, such as solvents, um, also taste and odor. So an ultraviolet treatment can be used to remove bacteria or pathogens from water? Typically with bacteria, we want to treat the whole house, point of entry, because your risk for infection is in multiple locations, um, showering, bathing, um, drinking uh, a drink from the bathroom sink, brushing your teeth, for instance. And so we can do point of use at, at like the kitchen sink, but if you then switch to your hot water, you would be having untreated water. And with bacteria, we want to make sure that we uh, eliminate all of our risk potentials. So how the UV works is water enters a stainless steel chamber and is exposed to ultraviolet light at a high enough dose to sterilize the bacteria. And then it exits the other side of the chamber. We regulate the flow to the size of the lamp so that uh, we have enough contact time with the water and uh, the UV. What are some other examples of point of entry systems? Well, like I said earlier, point of entry are typically the aesthetic issues, um, hardness and iron removal. Here we have a water softener. The water softener will remove the hardness that's in your water that makes it hard to get clothes clean, scale buildup all over your fixtures, your bathtubs, and such. With a softener, though, you get more benefits than just the stuff that you can see. You can reduce your soap usage. You can uh, reduce your heating bills because the hardness is an insulator in your water tank and uh, makes it harder to heat the water. The first step in deciding if treatment is necessary and what options to consider is a reliable water quality test conducted independently before you contact a treatment professional. To make a choice about treatment, you need to know not only what you want to remove, but also what characteristics of your water might interfere with the process and require pretreatment. Backwash water from water softeners can complicate septic system function and will even void the warranty for some secondary wastewater treatment systems. Inquire with a wastewater treatment professional or extension education materials before adding a water softener that will route backwash water to your septic system. 
All treatment devices have limitations and require maintenance so that they can function properly. Information on certified treatment devices and what contaminants they can remove is available on the web from the National Sanitation Foundation, commonly known as NSF International. Extension materials are also available about treatment options. In addition to researching on your own, consider talking to more than one treatment professional before deciding which option is right for you. An alternative to treatment is collecting or purchasing bulk water from a local distributor or grocery store. Please note that the Northern Plains and Mountains Regional Water Program does not endorse pure water technologies or any of the products depicted in this film.